It's time for another edition of Would You Guess? I'm your host, Brad Pomerantz. I guess we should get started. Jews have long played a role in the manufacturing of clothing going back to the old country. Jews of Eastern Europe were prohibited from owning land, forcing many of them to find work as, well, tailors, merchants, bankers, and the like. When the Jewish people immigrated to the United States in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Jews were able to bring their sewing and clothing making skills with them to the New World. But it was after World War II when Jewish American designers really began to make an impact. So let's start with two Bronx boys, Ralph Lauren and Calvin Klein, whose careers have mirrored one another since both opening their shops within the same year. Lauren, born Ralph Lifshitz, a yeshiva boy, stood out in 1950s Bronx for his unique preppy style. Today, his brand is ubiquitous with American fashion, and he is even responsible for designing the U.S. Olympic team uniforms since 2008. Today, Polo Ralph Lauren is worth a handsome $6.5 billion. Now Klein, born Calvin Richard Klein in 1942 to Jewish parents of Hungarian and Ukrainian descent, started out designing women's coats and dresses in the early 1970s, but later found his greatest success releasing a jean line. Today, Klein's fashion empire is worth a nice 1.5 billion bucks. Also on our list is Donna Karen, born Donna Ivy Fask to Jewish parents in Forest Hills, New York, Karen first worked as an assistant designer to Anne Klein, also Jewish, but Karen decided to start her own line in 1984, featuring wrap skirts, pull-on knit pants, tailored jackets, and all kinds of stretchy cashmere layers. Donna Karen had created a revolution in women's fashion. Then there's Michael Kors, born Carl Anderson Jr. in Long Island to a Jewish mother. Kors got an early start in designing women's clothing when he designed his model mother's wedding dress at just the age of five. Today, Michael Kors is valued at a compelling $5.3 billion. And how about Marc Jacobs, the former creative director of Louis Vuitton? He was born to a secular Jewish family in New York City. Jacobs designed his first collection bearing his name in 1986. And in 1987, he was the youngest designer to ever be awarded the fashion industry's highest tribute, new fashion talent. Well, that's all for this edition of Would You Guess?